Hi there, Margaret. Welcome. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm Mary Nabe coming to you live from Columbus, Ohio in my Stampin' Peace studio. It is Wednesday evening, June 14th. It's flag day in America. So lots and lots of flags out um, on houses and porches this morning as I was walking, which is nice to see. Um, Emily bought me a flag for a gift and uh, I'll have to ask Andrea's husband, John, to um, put up the flagpole for me. So hopefully he can do that next week or so. He's always great about um, just offering to help and doing whatever I may need. So that's a nice thing to have in a son-in-law. I'm so glad you're here today on my Monday Facebook Live. We made a set of three cards featuring the really sweet Places in the Heart stamp set. Great for expectant moms, new moms, moms of littles, baby showers, um, and perhaps even Mother's Day in future years. Well, uh, what I showed was to make a very simple card. And then I made a simple a couple of slight changes to it in the following two cards I showed. So this one, I used a bl small blending brush to, blush, to blend on some petal pink ink around the image itself. And then on the third card, I used a sponge dauber to add color to the clothing on the mom and the baby. So that was a lot of fun, a simple way to uh, make three similar but different cards by just changing um, the coloring and where you're placing that color and in ink and how you're applying it to the cards. When I was reading comments, somebody uh, said, well, how about for boy cards, baby boy cards? So here's a set I did today using all the same colors, except I swapped out the petal pink for pool party. But I used the same methods and same supplies as I did on the first three cards, except for that um, pool party color. So there you go. You're all set with cards for um, girl moms as well as boy moms. Uh, today I'm going to show you two more cards using the Places in the Heart stamp set. And I'm also combining it with the Inked Botanicals Designer Series paper. So let's get started right now. I'm going to flip my camera around and while I'm doing that, please share this live video and invite others to join us on this wonderful evening. go. Okay, once again, welcome to my stamp and piece studio. Here is the stamp set we'll be using as our featured product in another Facebook Live this week. And let's get started with our first card. This evening I'm going to make two different cards um, and I will be giving those both away. So stay tuned all the way to the end of the video so that you can participate um, in that giveaway. Barbara, thanks for being here and thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate you. All right, here is our first card. Now, a couple of things that I want to show you today are we're going to use a different image, the second image from the stamp set. And instead of coloring with... Um, our blending brush, 
and sponge daubers like we did on Monday's Facebook Live. Today we're going to be coloring part of the images with our Stampin' Blends. So the first thing I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and do our stamping first, and then we'll put our card together. I'm going to stamp using gray granite ink once again, just like I did in Monday's Facebook Live. And I've chosen to use gray granite because I wanted a neutral, but I wanted something that was less harsh than black or even the um, basic gray. So that's why I chose to go, or even early espresso. Those are all great um, neutrals that we often choose to stamp our images in, but I wanted something to be a little bit more subtle for the colors that I'm working with. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of color and I'm using uh, Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. I'm actually using like, only the light Pretty Peacock, but you can see this is a nice um, set of three colors that work really well together. So I'm going to, well, no, I guess I am using that dark Pretty Peacock. And I'm just going to start with the shorts and I'm going to assume this is a little boy. I'm gonna give some color to mom's hat as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is shade in what I think are the shorts of the little boy. I started with the dark shade of Pretty Peacock, and then I'm using the darker shade. Then I'm going to color in his shirt, starting with dark. And I love that this stamp set gives you shaded eight areas right in the stamped images themselves. So it makes it really easy when we're adding color to know where we should put our dark and our light. Kathy, at this time, I'm only on Facebook Lives. I may be switching over to YouTube and streaming to Facebook, but that's a whole nother, whole nother thing and requires a paid service as well. And then I'm going to add some more color to mom's bow on her hat. Just like that. And then I'm gonna call it quits with the blending, the Stampin' Blends. So let's put our card together now. So I'm just giving a touch of color. I'm not coloring my entire image, but you are welcome to do that if you choose to do so. I'm keeping my cards this evening pretty monochromatic. All right, the other thing I want you to notice during tonight's live is that in both of these um, cards that I'm making, I'm using designer series paper and we're mixing and matching from the same designer series paper pack. Now with this, I'm going to cover nearly the entire front of my card base. So I'm going to measure at four and a quarter inches by five and three eighths inches. Get it in there just like that. And of course you can see that this DSP uses mainly Lost Lagoon. And there's a lighter shade in there 
that could be considered um, pool party. So just really nice and soft. And before I put my stamped image on, my layers on, I'm going to take this piece of half inch by, oh, maybe two, two and a half inch. It's a scrap I had. And I'm just gonna fold that in half. I don't want it quite as long. You can cut it off if you want, but I kind of like um, the depth it brings. To, it's going to bring to the card just simply by folding it. So I'm gonna put a little adhesive on one end and close the end, seal them. So this is what I have, and I want my fold sticking out. Oops, I didn't need all that. And I'm just going to put it maybe a half inch or so down from the corner. Now I could lay this flat, or I don't know why I put all that adhesive on, maybe because it's late on, getting late on a Wednesday, and I've been working since... I don't know, 7 a.m. or something. But I want to pop this up on dimensionals. I think that will look much nicer on this card. And I'm going to, and you could put it anywhere you want. You can put it in the middle. You can put it more to the right, to the left. I'm going to put mine, my layers, more towards the left. And I have another strip, also a scrap, from the Inked Botanicals paper pack. And this measures... Oh, about a half inch, I suppose. It might be, I think it's half inch. Could be five eighths. No, oh. looks like five eighths. And I'm going to just add this to the basic white cardstock that I'm putting on the inside of my card. So the basic white measures five and a quarter by four inches. And then I have that four inch strip of coordinating DSP. So on this card, you can see that I made a beautiful monochromatic card with just a tiny bit of coloring to kind of showcase accent the um, parts of the image. And then I've got that coordinating cardstock as well. So doing things like this, these little strips, it's a great way to use up scraps. You're no, you know I'm all about using as much of your DSP as you possibly can because I love DSP that much. I have to make it go as far as I possibly can. And then I'm using the Tinsel Gems 3-pack. There's three colors in here, and I'm using this Lost Lagoon color. I'm going to put one large gem on that fold of DSP. And then I'm going to use two of the small gems in the bottom right corner. So a little bling to add to our card. So what do you think? Diane says, wow, awesome card. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. And I am not putting a sentiment on this because this could be used for so many reasons. This could be used for, as a note card to say, um, just wanted to pop in and say hello, have a happy summer, or enjoy the summertime with your kiddos. It could be um, for a mom of little who maybe needs some support or encouragement or is celebrating time with her family. It could be for so many different um purposes and occasions. So I'm not going to put a sentiment on there. 
Yes, Vesta, it is soft and subtle. I love the colors in here. And before we go on to the second card, why don't I just go ahead and show you what the Inked Botanicals DSP looks like. So it's got Crush Curry, um, Calypso Coral, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Lost Lagoon, and it's got this very, very light shade, almost a vanilla, but it's a little more um, yellow, not a true vanilla. And then, of course, there's some white in there as well. But let's just take a quick look because the images and the colors are so pretty. And as you can see, this DSP lends itself to mixing and matching very, very well, as most of our DSP packs do. Okay, and I'm going to double check, but yes, this Designer Series Paper Pack is one of the 13 that is on sale this month through June 30th for 15% off. We have um, 13 different paper packs that are on sale. So you know I had to purchase some because my first love is DSP. I should say my first Stampin' Up! love is DSP. Obviously it's my kids, my family, friends. But in terms of Stampin' Up! Um, I absolutely love working with DSP. As many of you know, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that. So for my next card, the card base is made with Crush Curry. And let's do the stamping and coloring again before we put together the card together. I will mention that sometimes when you have very large images that are the same size, nearly the same size, or even larger than your ink pad, sometimes I find it easier to ink up the stamp this way. Lay the stamp or the clear block down with the rubber stamp facing up or the photopolymer stamp facing up and then tap the ink onto it. Okay, once again, I stamped that with the um, gray granite ink, just a very nice neutral. And now we're going to change up the colors. And we don't have crushed curry in Stampin' Blends. So I'm using um, Daffodil Delight, which as I put this card together, you will see it goes really nicely with the Crush Curry cardstock and the Crush Curry in the DSP I'm using. And we're gonna color mom's hat. A big sun hat, protecting her precious skin. I hope when you're out, you're wearing a hat, using your sunscreen, things like that. I know you probably know that, but that's what friends do. We remind each other of all those important things. We got to take care of each other, right? As a friend and I said to each other yesterday, you know, we all really need our girlfriends, don't we? And we all really need our Stampin' Friends. Now, next, I'm going to add some color to her dress, but watch what I do. I am not going to fill in the entire dress. It's not going to be um, heavy with ink. But what I do is going to add some let's say some texture and dimension to her sundress. So I'm really not coloring, I'm using the brush tip of 
I guess that was her back. That shouldn't really be yellow. Um, the brush tip of my Stampin' Blends to just stroke that color on there. I'm not really coloring the full way. Do you see what I mean by that? And I'm gonna leave it at that. I feel that is just enough color. You could color in the arms, the legs, um, there's little legs right here, the hair, that sort of thing, if you like. But again, I'm kind of keeping to a monochromatic look with the exception of that gray granite that I'm, I use to stamp the images. Now let's bring this back in. Once again, I wanna cover most of that uh, front, card front with my DSP. So I'm, instead of going five and a quarter by four inches, I'm going five and three eighths by, oh, I should have cut the other way, by four and an eighth, five and three eighths by four and an eighth, okay? So you know, if you want a little bit smaller border, you just go by eighth inch increments. If you like the wider, um, I don't have a sample right in front of me, but it's always fun to um, kind of vary our layers to get different looks. Now I said the second purpose, in addition to showing um, how to use um, Stampin' Blends to just color parts of the image to maybe highlight them or showcase parts of them. I also said we would be mixing and matching DSP from the Inked Botanicals. So you can see, look how lovely this pattern goes with our plaid here. So this piece of DSP measures one and a half inches by five and three eighths, and it's not quite halfway. I have a little bit below the halfway mark. I've also got this piece of DSP that measures a half inch by five and a quarter, and I'm going to put that on the basic weight cardstock for the inside of my card. So I'm just using some of that DSP to dress up the inside of my card a little bit. Again, that basic white is five and a quarter by four inches. Here's a perfect example of using the quarter inch border or the eighth inch border. And you can even combine them, one or the other on the inside and one or the other on the outside. I'm going to adhere my stamped image and layers with some dimensionals. Don't forget to cut those edges on your dimensional sheets. Gonna use every last bit. Get the most bang for our buck when we use up those edges of our dimensionals and scraps of our DSP. Again, I'm going to put this towards the left side of my card front, but you can decide. Left side, right side, middle. They all would work well. And then finally, I want to add some embellishment. Now I have to tell you a story. When I was creating the samples for today and I made this card, I thought, oh, the brushed brass butterflies, those are going to be perfect for this. And that gold even comes across as being um, just a nice accent to the crushed curry 
and monochromatic look we have with these yellows. Well, then I had a struggle because this is all I have left, five, five. And you know, when we add embellishments, we add in um, odd numbers, right? So I really needed six, three and three. Did you ever have that struggle? Well, guess what? I saved the butterflies for you. So now we're just gonna add those. I'm gonna put one right up here. And yes, we will do three butterflies here and do one way at the top. And then one more. And I don't know if I'm what I'm gonna do with just two butterflies. Yeah, I do. I'll wait, I'll save them until I get another package of the butterflies. That's what I'll do. But now you're probably wondering, well, did you not put an embellishment on your sample? Or did you put a different embellishment on? I chose a different one. And do you know what this is? This is the Wild Wheat Gems from the 2023 to 2025 gems, in color gems. Let me show you the whole pack. It's this. You saw me use some in my One Sheet Wonder class. It's got all five of the colors. And it's the Wild Wheat. So that Wild Wheat, as you can see, is a nice accent to the soft yellow, to the crushed curry, the daffodil. Um, so another way of mixing and matching different materials in the same shade of colors. All right, so here are the two cards that we made for tonight. Again, the focus was on coloring just parts of our stamped image to draw attention or to create a certain um, focal point. Maybe the focal point here is more the child than the mom, but we still gave her a little bit of color. On this one, we gave a little bit more color to the mom, just as much. But on neither one did we color the hair or um, the bodies themselves. So just a different way, a different take on our usual coloring. The second focus tonight was mixing and matching designer series papers. Mixing and matching designer series papers. In this case, of the same shade of colors. And we chose, or I chose, designer series papers from the Inked Botanicals collection. So I hope you enjoyed tonight's demonstration. Um, I would like to give these two cards away. Now in the last Facebook Live, we used the name of the stamp set. So we'll do something different tonight. Tonight we will use the, let me find it here, the name of the DSP, which is, I'm gonna show it here, Inked Botanicals, Inked Botanicals. Okay. Diane, yes, give it a chance, give it a chance, give it a try, just coloring some highlights. It's almost like, even like you could think of it as spotlighting, another way of spotlighting, okay? I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Don't forget, if you missed Monday's Facebook Live, you'll want to go to stampinpeace.com to check out what the three cards we made also featuring the Places in the Heart stamp set and just simple cards that um, where we made simple changes in our coloring to make each card a little bit different. And there you can also see those same cards in Pool Party. So that's on my website, blog, stampinpeace.com. If you're not already a subscriber to that website, I would love for you to click the subscribe button there on stampinpeace.com and subscribe. And lastly, a reminder that our starter kit 
promotion is go or starter kit plus promotion is going on right now. This month through June 30th, you can choose $155 of product and you're going to pay just $99 plus the sales tax and then it will all ship to you free. Somebody asked me earlier, can they put a uh, stamp and cut an emboss machine in their starter kit? The answer to that is yes. Now here's the thing. Normally you choose $125 a product. That big standard stamp and cut in a boss machine is 128. So normally you won't be able to put that large one on a starter kit. But because this month they're giving you an extra $30 in product, you can do that. So it's a great way to get that item or some other um, maybe some bundles, some of the high-priced items, you can bulk them together into your starter kit and save a lot of money. If this is going to be the very best deal you will see this month, I promise you. It's sort of like creating your own um, product collection or your own bundle deal. Um, the other thing is you can add to your starter kit, you can put in those designer series papers that are on sale. You can include clearance rack items. Uh, you will get a paper pumpkin kit with your starter kit. That's a freebie. Um, and it's just a great deal. So many people join for the discount. I have lots of discount um, demonstrators hobby demonstrators, happy shoppers, whatever you want to call us. And um, they enjoy the discount, but they've stayed on because we have a great community for you to belong to and people develop friendships. So it's a great thing. Um, if you're at all interested, please let me know. I welcome everybody to my Mary Stampers team. You do not have to demonstrate or sell, or have classes, or do Facebook Lives. You don't have to do any of that. You can simply shop at a discount. If you choose to do those other things, to make have a little side hustle, make a little extra income, or build a business, I am more than happy to help you do that. But the choice is yours. Um, there is information about joining at stampinpeace.com. It will answer a lot of questions for you. Um, and again, this month only, you get an additional $30 in product with the Starter Kit Plus promotion. All right, everybody, have a great evening. Thank you for joining me. And I will be pulling two names to, um, of two people to receive these cards. I look forward to being back again with you on Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, and I'm also looking forward to having one of my friends who's also a team member. Gosh, Melinda's been with me for a while. But anyways, Melinda is coming um, Friday and going to stay the weekend with me. So I'm excited about that. All right, everybody. Uh, have a good night and I will see you Friday. Bye-bye.